What's up guys? So today I have a short little technical video for you. It's not really going to relate to cars at all. It's going to relate a little bit to YouTube and a lot if you're trying to save space on your computer. For the record, I am using a MacBook, so I can't say if this applies to Windows or not. I'm not sure what differences there would be or even if this program that I'm going to use is available for Windows, but it does work for Mac and it has worked for me. So I record all of my video in 1080p and typically it's at 60 frames per second, although that can be higher or lower. But regardless, it takes up a ton of space. So I use Final Cut Pro and I have it set up so that all my video gets uh, sent to my external hard drive, which is a three terabyte external hard drive HDD from Western Digital. It's not a solid state drive, but it works for what I need. That being said, even though it is three terabytes, I still constantly find myself filling that up and having to free up some space. So with Final Cut, if you're working on something and your uh, hard drive gets full, it'll pop up a little box and it will let you know. And it will say, you know, there's no free space and it will make you free, some, free up some space before it continues to render files or import or whatever you're working on. So if you have this issue of space getting filled up, whether you're, you're, you're a YouTuber or you just have an issue with space on your computer or an external hard drive or anything really, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So I downloaded a free program, which is called Omni Disk Sweeper. So I am going to come down to uh, my applications and I'm going to open that, pro that program up. And I'm going to give it a second to load. It's going to bring up all my files, even files that you can't typically see on your OS. So I want to go to my three terabyte uh, passport here. And as you could see, I only have 268.5 gigabytes free, which is pretty crazy. But the reason it's so full right now is because I just did my breaks video and that's like a huge four or five part series. And that takes up a ton of space and I'll show you in a minute. So with Omni Disk Sweeper, it allows you to access files that you typically can't access and it makes it very easy to delete some of them. So you wanna be very careful with what you're deleting but I'll show you exactly what you can delete. So it's still loading up and as you can see, the, um, the amount of storage is changing and I have different files here obviously, but I have my HSG channel for YouTube, which is my Hawkeye STI guy channel and it will bring up all these different files and there are some files that I can delete. Primarily, I only am looking to delete render files and also transcoded media both of those can take up a ton of space and both of those are not really necessary. Um, while you're working on the project, it'll build up these massive files and that's fine. But after I'm done with a project and I wanna close it out, for example, my breaks video, I'm pretty much done with that and I don't see myself revisiting that for a while. I'm gonna delete those files to save space. So I actually have a couple different files here. I'm going to go up to my YT for YouTube, my YouTube backups, uh, this FCP bundle, that is my backup files for my Final Cut Pro. So anytime I save something in Final Cut, anytime I render something, do anything in Final Cut, it automatically sends it to this file here. And that's what I'm gonna go after. So as you could see, <laughs> this uh, December 16th DITL, which is my day in the life and breaks, is 845.9 gigabytes. Holy crap. So I'm gonna go in here and it, to it shows you exactly what it is. So I have 301.5 gigs of original media. I'm not gonna touch that, I wanna leave that alone. However, I do have 322 gigs of transcoded media. That's going by. So just click on that um, and go down to the bottom, click delete. Asks you, are you sure you wanna de destroy these files because they're gonna be gone forever? Yes, I do, bye. Uh, render files. 222 gigs of render files for this particular project. And as you can see, a lot of it is high quality, high quality media. And there's 1.6 uh, gigs of thumbnail. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna delete that whole render file. Delete, bye, gone. So that right there saved me what? Like 500 some gigs, that's insane. Um, and again, it's, it's the same for all these projects. I have gone through most of these. So most of these smaller ones that are only like 12 gigs, 15 gigs, I've already gone through and deleted out all the render files in the transcoded media. Uh, my PVGP 16, I have render files in there because I was 
uh, going through that for my recap video for the end of the year. So again, I'm going to go in there, delete my render files, delete my transcoded media. So you could do this pretty much for anything on any, any file in your computer. Uh, again, you want to make sure that you are only doing this to your transcoded media and your render files. If you do this on any other video files, you can run into issues. You can pretty much delete your, your whole system. So be very, very careful. Think twice about what you're doing before you delete it. It's, I, I can't stress that enough. You just have to be very careful. But if you're in a situation that I am right now, just delete all this stuff and you'll save a ton of space. And it's very quick and very easy. And a lot of times these files do not show up on your Mac because they're hidden. So this is a great way to save a ton of space on your Mac. And I'm just gonna go through and delete all these other files that I don't need anymore. This January 17 folder right here is for the current month, obviously. So I'm gonna leave that alone. There is transcoded media in there, there is render files, but I'm just gonna leave that alone probably until the end of the month, unless I have to delete it before then, but that's the current folder that I'm working on, so I have current projects in there. If I were to delete the render files and the transcoded media for those files, or for those projects, right now I would have to rebuild that information every time I was trying to do something, which I'm not gonna touch, it's perfectly fine, and now I have a ton of free, free space, as you saw, that I just got rid of. So. This is how you delete stuff. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time.